What's going on? What's good, guys? Mike is in the building, and this video is brought to you by MotivationUSA.com. I picked up my EVC brake pads from them. Make sure you use your coupon code CLUTCH first if you want to pick up yours. Looking forward to getting this video done. Let's get started, guys. Here's what you're going to need for you to actually complete this task. You're going to need a socket wrench, an 8 millimeter bit, a spritz water bottle with a little bit of uh, soap in it. I'm also using a toothbrush, a little pan to keep all your screws so you don't lose anything. A rough pad so you can clean. A needle nose plier so you can pull small little object outward. You're also going to need a uh, rag, guys, just so you can uh, protect your tire so you don't damage anything and lastly what I'd recommend for anybody to actually have is the service manual for their bike that way you know the exact torque spec I've actually lightly loosened these up already so we can take them out that way we can save some time so let's get to it I'm gonna take our socket there we go there as well we're gonna pull those out so we can pull out the brake pads and then we can uh, take out the caliper itself so far I got one pin out so what I did I twisted the knob here Hopefully you guys can see there's another pin there. There you go, second pin. And then now I'm gonna pull out the, like these guys right here. You can see they're fairly dirty as well. Okay. Both came out fairly dirty, which we're gonna clean up as well. These guys are gonna go into that pan we were talking about. Very useful. You don't lose anything. Now we're gonna give it another shot. You can see here, that came right off. Then you can actually pull out the actual brake pads. You guys can see that. There you go. Now it should be fairly easy to remove the caliper. Like I mentioned to you guys, this little bowl here is extremely useful magnetic got my two bolts here the two little rods that came out the pins nothing's gonna get lost along the way so that's great to know now that our caliper is off we're gonna do a few things guys I did tell you about that spritz bottle if you look here there's a lot of dirt and grime from brake dust and debris on the road before we push the pistons back we're gonna spritz the caliper a little bit with some of the soap and I'm gonna clean this thing off. You can see how dirty this thing was. Look, just gonna wipe that thoroughly here. And you can see the um, pistons are getting cleaner. You're gonna push in a lot easier. Look how clean that is in comparison to before. I didn't even push in the calipers yet. We're gonna do one more go around, make sure that it's as clean as we can get it. They don't even do this when you pay hundreds of dollars for them to do your, your brakes. So technically, doing this yourself, you get it a lot better conditioned than expected to be. There we are. Look at the difference with the pistons so much cleaner guys make sure before you push your pistons back just loosen the cap of your brake reservoir a little bit so the pistons don't push back just make sure you cover your bike so the dot three or dot five uh brake fluid don't damage your paint uh great tip here and it'll be a lot easier to push the pistons in after you clean them and then all you have to do is basically refill or top it off once you're done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push them in. Got my got two fingers in here like that. See that? Gonna push those in. And they went in really smoothly, very quick. Barely had to fight it. See that? 
And this is a good time too, if you're working on your pads, really good time for you to kind of take your time to clean the calipers. Gonna crack open these brand new brake pads. Now, remember I showed you guys these guys, they were dirty. You wanna clean them off. Just so the uh, freak pads can slide nice and easy. So you place this piece first. slide these little pins in just a quick note guys that pin here is very difficult to get to recommend getting a flashlight use a needle nose plier so you can rotate it just enough to enter the pin in pin number one pin number two both pads are being held perfectly fine Guys, make sure you have your service manual so you can torque spec these down properly because you don't want to over torque them and you don't want to under torque them. We're on side number two. We're going to quickly go through this one. Front brake pads, all done. Not as difficult. Uh, there's a lot more care that goes into it when you do it yourself. And uh, let me know if you guys would like to see me do a brake bleed video. If you're interested in that, let me know. And hopefully this helped you guys save some money on owning your Ducati Monster. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And remember, stay up, be easy, and be humble.